Hey there, Norman here from WoCode, and today we're going to be taking a look at the Row Scroll Gallery widget. Now, this gallery offers some very unique motion effects. As the user scrolls down the page, there are animations that take place within the gallery. If the site visitor changes directions of the scroll, the animations will reverse their directions as well. This makes the gallery highly interactive and engaging. We've included eight different modes and each is quite unique. So it's a little like having eight entirely different galleries. This demo here shows four of those eight modes. And if we click on one of the thumbnails, we'll see we get this image opens in a light box with the slideshow interface. Now we can set this thumbnail to link to other pages or sites, or we can set it to do nothing at all. So let's go ahead and jump into the builder now and take a look at how this is set up. In the builder here, we have our eyewear shop template. And I'm going to add a gallery just under the hero to add some interest to the home page. So I'll open our widget panel, I'll grab our row scroll widget, and I'll drop it right into this new row. Now, before we get started, I'm just going to open up the row itself and add some padding to the top and bottom. And now we're good to go. So from here, we can go ahead and open that widget panel. We can see here, we have a pretty simple set of options and I'll explain them as I set up the gallery. So the first option we have is the unique ID. You'll need to use a unique ID if you're gonna have multiple instances of the widget on one page. We'll leave this one as default because we're only gonna have the one. Just below that, we have our gallery mode. This is where we set the style of the gallery. Each of these eight modes has a totally different look and interaction as the user scrolls. So for this demonstration, we're just gonna leave that as the default columns. Just below that, we have our thumbnail click action. This sets what the thumbnail images will do when the user clicks on them. This can be set to lightbox, external link, or none. We'll leave this as none for this demonstration. And below that, we have our images. And this is where we will load our images. So I'll go ahead and click Add Image to get started. And we can open this. And from here, we have our image upload option. So if we click that, we can use the search field to search the library of stock images, or we can upload our own. And I've already got a folder of images already prepared, and I've already uploaded those here, as we can see. So I'll just go ahead and select the first image here. Now, if we look at the additional options in this image menu, we'll see the image caption, as well as the image link. The image caption allows you to add a caption that will be seen when the image is opened within the gallery's light box. The image link does what it says. It links an image thumbnail to a page on the site or elsewhere on the web. I'll leave these options alone for our example. I'm gonna go ahead and add the rest of the images that I've uploaded to the site into the widget and I'll be right back. Okay, now we're looking good. So let's go over a few more simple adjustments that we can make to this layout. If we wanted to adjust the widgets width, currently it's set to the default width, we can do that by using this resize handle on the bottom right of the widget. As we can see here, we adjust that handle and so does the width, widget's width. If we wanted to set this widget to be full bleed, we would open up the row and then we would set the full bleed row to enable. And now we have a full bled, full width gallery. Now, if we wanted to adjust the height of the gallery, that's gonna be a little bit different. So we're gonna open the widget itself and that's gonna be located in the design tab. Now I wanna make these images look more square. So let's go ahead and bump this height up just a bit. Looking good, all right. So while we're in here, Let's go ahead and go over a few more settings in the design tab. Just below widget height, we have our mobile height. Now this height is specific to mobile only and it's important because desktop height settings will not look good on mobile. You'll need a much smaller height for the mobile layout. 
Below the height settings, there's a bunch of separate menus for each of the gallery modes. I won't go over each one of these individually as they're all labeled with their exact function, but feel free to explore these to customize your gallery's look. So now we can close this out and we can just take a quick look and preview our gallery. If we scroll down here, we can see that we have the images here and they're all moving along up and down as I scroll. Let's take a look at how the other layouts look. Next, we'll change the gallery mode to column rotated. We'll jump back into our preview and we'll refresh. And we can see that this has the same images, but a completely different motion scroll. Jump back into the builder and let's go back down the list here. Let's try the next one, one line. See what that one looks like. Refresh. Very nice single line images. Jump back into the builder here and let's jump down to rotated. Refresh, scroll down, there it is. Very cool and very unique. So as you can see, it's pretty easy to get quite a few very unique looks with this gallery. As always, my name is Norman Durkee, and you have been rocking with the best website builder on the planet, wocode.com. And if you have any questions, definitely reach out to our support. I'll see you on the next one.